themes, also known as skins in other software packages, allow you to customize the appearance of GenStat by applying different colors and fonts to the input and output windows, text windows, and spreadsheets. Themes aren't just used to make on-screen items more colorful. If you need more screen space, you can make the spreadsheet text smaller. If you have difficulty distinguishing certain colors, you can choose a theme with more contrast. There are several more default themes to choose from. This is colorful green. And this is cool blue. You can make adjustments to any of these default themes and save them as a new theme in a GTH file. After you've customized your own theme, you can transfer it to any other computers that are running GenStat. Let's walk through a few examples. Here we have a spreadsheet that uses the GenStat theme called Modern. This is the default theme for GenStat 19. If you want to open the same spreadsheet and follow along, select File, Open Example Datasets. Now type Calcium and click Open Data. Select Tools, Spreadsheet Options, then click the Appearance tab. We'll move this over to the side so we can see what our spreadsheet looks like as we make changes. Let's change the colour of every second row to something different. Select Alternating Row Colour, then choose Light Blue from this drop-down list. Click Apply to see your change take effect. When you click Apply, the dialog stays open so you can make more changes. Let's make the text a bit larger so that it's easier to read. Select Cell Text and change the size to 13. Click Apply, then click Yes to allow GenStat to resize the columns. All the cell text and the row numbers are now much larger. The column titles are looking a bit small though, so let's change them as well. Select Title Text and change the size to 50. The sample here gives us a preview of what our settings will look like. 50 is probably a bit too large, so we'll change this to 13, the same as the cell text. Click Apply, then Yes. That's looking better. I sometimes find that the scroll bars are a bit hard to grab as they're rather narrow. I'll change this to 25, then click Apply. That should make life easier. I could change the factor in text column headers to different colors, but I think I'll leave them as they are. I don't need these icons though, the T and the exclamation mark. I'll deselect the Use Icons for Types option. Click Apply and the icons disappear. That's certainly a lot more colorful and easier to read, but you know what? I think I preferred things the way they were. To reset everything the way it was, click Defaults, then click Apply. Click Yes to resize the columns. Now you're back where you started. Later in this video, I'll show you how to save your changes to a theme file rather than undo everything. The output from an analysis doesn't just have to be viewed on screen. It can be copied and pasted into another application, such as Microsoft Word. If you want the output to appear in a report, you can customize the headings to your own style. Here I've run a two-way ANOVA on the example data spreadsheet canola.gsh. All the headings are the same color, 
so there's not much to distinguish them from each other. Select Tools, Options, then click the Fonts and Colours tab. The drop-down list lets us select what windows to apply changes to. We'll leave this set to Output. Select Message and change this to Green. The sample shows what it will look like. Select Major Caption and change the font size to 18 and make it bold. Select Minor Caption and open the colour picker. We'll select this purple colour and click OK. Lastly, let's change the background colour. You'll find this under Output, Unformatted Text. Background is already selected in the list, so I'm going to change the colour to yellow, just because I can. Click OK to apply the changes. We can see the background colour change, but we won't see any change to the output until we run the analysis again. At the moment, all our headings are blue. Let's click Run to see our changes. Any changes you make to the appearance of a spreadsheet or window are automatically saved. If you close GenStat, then reopen it, you'll see your colours are still applied. The problem is, if someone else uses your computer and selects another theme, all your changes will be lost because you haven't saved them as a theme file. Whoops! Now your changes are lost and there's no way to get them back. I've recreated my settings and this time I'm going to save them as a theme file so that if I need to work on another computer, I can transfer the theme file to it. Select Tools, Themes, Save. I'll accept the default name, but I'll give this theme a description so that I can recognize it later. Now click Save. GenStat will continue to use this saved theme until you select a different one. Select Tools, Themes, Select. We can see that GenStat is currently using the theme we just created. And it's also highlighted in the Themes available list. To select a different theme, simply highlight it, then click Set as Current. If you want to use a theme that you created on another computer, you'll need to load it into the Themes Available list. Select Tools, Themes, Load. Locate and open the GTH file, then click Yes when prompted. The theme is loaded into the list so you can select it.